Now let's see when does the risk get you know when when does the risk get transferred? Till now we have seen how does the ownership get transferred. Now we will see the second step. How does the risk get transferred? I told you there is this basic rule. Risk follows the ownership. It is the basic rule. So as soon as the ownership is transferred, risk also gets transferred but it is important to know when the risk is transferring because who bears the risk also bears the loss so the person who has the risk he'll have to bear the loss so it is important to know who has the ownership because he has the ownership he may also have the risk but this is not the case every time there are some exceptions to this basic rule, to this general rule. The exceptions may be when a contrary thing is mentioned in the contract. You make the contract, you know, I sell you this pen, I give you this pen, you know, you pay me the price, I give you this pen. But in the contract you tell me that you know I as the seller will be liable for this pen for the next 10 days now what is happening is sale contract is made ownership has gotten transferred to you yet risk has not gotten transferred to you because we have agreed that the risk will be transferred after 10 days till that time I will remain the person who will bear the risk okay so a contrary thing may be expressed in the contract or there is a delayed delivery you know you come to my place and purchase this pen i tell you that i'll deliver it to your house tomorrow but you know because of the shortage of the stock you know, I deliver it after 10 days. Now, who bears the risk for those 10 days? I bear it. Or let's say it was ready in my go down to be delivered tomorrow. But, you know, my delivery vans were busy. Or, you know, they were out of order. I could not deliver them. So, they were in my go down only. And on the third day, there was a fire in the go down. So who will be responsible? I'll be responsible. Because I had undertaken to deliver and I could not deliver in time. There was a delayed delivery. So I remain responsible for that delayed period. And if anything happens in that period, I will bear the loss. Okay. So normally risk follows ownership. However, when a contrary intention is expressed in the contract risk will not follow ownership it will be transferred from seller to buyer when both the parties have contracted or when the seller undertakes to deliver and you know he makes a delayed delivery so for the delayed period seller remains liable or if the buyer undertakes to take the delivery from the sellers go down and if he does not take the delivery and you know there is a fire in the go down now buyer will bear the risk okay so any person who undertakes to get the delivery to make the delivery and there is a delayed delivery so the party who is at fault will bear the loss so this was about transfer of risk we have seen transfer of ownership and now we have covered the transfer of risk. So let's just take a quiz on the topics that we've covered till now.